Hello again. Now that you've got to use some of the basic tools, again, the camera view and the visual tools, and also the timeline and the round differentiator, once you've become an expert at those and you've got a sense of how to use them, I want to give you the first real piece of advice in terms of actually using Skybox in a functional way. And this is going to be a little bit counterintuitive because it might not seem like it's going to make a big difference, but trust me, it will. If you head on over into the Skybox itself, you will see, you will notice that I'm zoomed out really far from the action in this particular example. And that's by choice. I do this very often when I'm looking at the game. Because Counter-Strike normally is viewed from a vantage point that is much more akin to something like this, where I'm zoomed in almost at head height from where the players are. This is because of the technical limitations of Counter-Strike as a game. You can't really in Counter-Strike zoom out so far that you're actually watching the whole thing from all the way up here. That does a number of things to our understanding of a round. And I want you to try and watch maybe a whole game just from this point of view. Now you can zoom around and pivot around whether or not you're using the RTS mode or the free look mode. I don't really mind. But try and watch a game like this because one of the important features of being able to do this is that you actually notice at some point how different events across the maps just play out differently. There are certain things that happened either simultaneously or or it's sort of an A-B situation where you have first one thing happens and then another thing happens. And if you are zoomed in and you're focused locally on what's happening over on Banana, you just miss what's happening. And it doesn't really matter if you have some kind of a minimap or anything like that, because ultimately you will be focused on just this one part. If instead you're watching it from this point of view and you have the ability to easily go back and forth and check what's going on, you can develop a very cool, what I would consider a global understanding of what's happening inside of a Counter-Strike round. So the first tip that we're going to try and outline here is actually getting rid of your normal bias and your normal, let's say, tendency to try and watch the game from much closer than you actually need to. Having the detailed view could be very important in certain scenarios, but if we're talking about tactical outlines, being this far zoomed out and having some sense of what's going on, I think is very important. So do yourself a favor and try and get used to doing this, at least for some things, I think it is definitely better to do. We'll definitely be making more videos where we try and go through some of these tips and tricks, but we'll keep them short and I'll see you in the next video.